For years, doctors have told us the same thing. Once you have plaque in your arteries, it's there for life. Heart disease becomes a lifelong condition, managed with pills, monitored with scans, and feared with every chest pain. But what if that message was incomplete? Recent studies from Mayo Clinic and peer-reviewed journals like Cell Metabolism are starting to challenge this long-held belief. Evidence now shows that under the right conditions, your body may have the ability to remove harmful buildup in your arteries and even start to heal the damage. This isn't about a miracle drug. It's not about a new stent or surgery. It's about a natural cellular process inside your body that's been overlooked for decades. It's called autophagy. Autophagy is your body's way of cleaning out damaged cells, removing inflammation-causing debris, and recycling what no longer works. And it plays a critical role in protecting your cardiovascular system. When it's active, it can reduce the very inflammation and dysfunction that leads to heart attacks. When it's dormant, heart disease progresses silently until it's too late. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how autophagy works, how it's connected to your heart, and most importantly, how you can safely activate it through simple, practical steps. But before we dive in, take a moment to subscribe to this channel. We release weekly videos designed specifically for seniors who want science-backed, drug-free strategies to protect their hearts and reclaim control of their health. If you care about your future, or someone you love does, this is information you don't want to miss. Now, let's take a closer look at what autophagy is and why unlocking it could be the most important decision you ever make for your heart. What is autophagy? Let's begin with a simple but powerful truth. Your body has the ability to heal itself if you understand how it works. Autophagy is a biological process that literally means self-eating. While the term may sound uncomfortable at first, it refers to one of your body's most essential systems for survival and longevity. When autophagy is activated, your cells begin to identify old, damaged, or malfunctioning components, like worn-out mitochondria, inflamed proteins, or toxic lipid particles, and break them down. These parts are then recycled into new materials that support healthier cellular function. Autophagy is not just a cleanup mechanism. It plays a direct role in protecting your heart. According to research published in the Journal of Inflammation, 2019, chronic vascular inflammation is one of the main drivers of coronary artery disease. This inflammation gradually damages the endothelium, the thin inner lining of your arteries, weakening a protective layer called the glycocalyx. Once this barrier is compromised, LDL cholesterol and other substances can slip through, building up as plaque. Over time, this narrows the arteries, restricts blood flow, and significantly increases the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Autophagy works against this process. It helps reduce inflammation by removing oxidized debris and immune cells, like foam cells that have absorbed too much cholesterol. It also assists in repairing the endothelial lining and supporting the regrowth of the glycocalyx, making it harder for new plaque to form. The Silent Connection Between Autophagy and Heart Disease While autophagy may not be as commonly discussed as statins or bypass surgery, its connection to heart health is both profound and evidence-based. When autophagy is working efficiently, the body has a built-in ability to clean up the very causes of arterial disease from the inside out. This includes eliminating dead or inflamed cells, stabilizing existing plaque, and supporting the removal of harmful cholesterol from within artery walls. Unfortunately, most people never get to experience the full benefits of autophagy because they've never been taught how to trigger it. So, why haven't you heard this before? Mainstream medicine has done an extraordinary job treating acute heart disease. Emergency procedures, medications, 
and critical care have saved millions of lives. But these treatments don't reverse the damage. They manage symptoms or slow the process. What's been missing is a conversation about how to truly engage the body's repair systems. Autophagy isn't activated by medications. It's controlled by your metabolism, your eating patterns, your level of physical activity, your stress levels, and your sleep quality. In other words, it's highly responsive to your daily lifestyle, and that puts the power back in your hands. How to know if your body is in autophagy? Unlike blood pressure or cholesterol, there's no direct lab test that confirms autophagy, but there is a reliable way to estimate it using something called the doctor. Bas ratio. This number is calculated by dividing your glucose level milligrams per deciliter by your blood ketone level millimoles per liter. A ratio below 40 indicates that strong autophagy is likely occurring. A ratio between 40 and 80 suggests moderate activation. A ratio above 100 means autophagy is unlikely to be present. This simple formula allows you to track your body's metabolic state and determine whether it's in a healing mode or a state of ongoing damage. The deeper problem. Why most people never reach autophagy. The reality is that most Americans, especially those over 50, rarely, if ever, enter a state of autophagy. This is because our modern lifestyle actively works against it. Eating three meals a day with snacks in between keeps insulin levels elevated and prevents ketone production. High-carb diets block the metabolic shifts needed to activate cellular repair. Sedentary behavior weakens mitochondria, while chronic stress and poor sleep further inhibit recovery. As a result, years of unprocessed inflammation and cellular waste accumulate inside the body, and that includes the arteries. The tragedy is that most people believe their bodies are incapable of healing, when in fact, they've simply never given their cells the conditions they need to do their job. Why this matters. As we age, our bodies naturally produce more cellular waste and experience higher levels of inflammation. The older we get, the more we need autophagy, but the harder it becomes to access it without intention. This is why recent studies from Mayo Clinic and Cell Metabolism emphasize that lifestyle-based autophagy becomes increasingly important after age 60. Even if you've had a heart attack, even if you're on multiple medications, even if you've tried and failed with diets in the past, your body still has the potential to recover. The key is knowing how to create the conditions that allow autophagy to activate. And in the next part of this video, we're going to walk you through a three-phase protocol used in clinical practice, combining research-backed techniques with real-world case studies. Because now that you know what autophagy is, and why it matters, the next step is learning how to turn it on. Phase 1. Metabolic Reset. Days 1 through 7. The goal of the first phase is to reset your metabolic environment. In most aging bodies, the major barrier to autophagy is persistently high blood sugar and insulin. To address this, the core focus in Phase 1 is reducing total carbohydrate intake to less than 20 grams per day. This low-carb state forces your body to lower insulin, reduce glucose spikes, and begin producing ketones, an alternative fuel that supports cellular repair. During this first week, you will continue eating three meals per day. However, the composition of those meals must change. Lean proteins like fish or chicken, healthy fats like olive oil or avocado, and low-carb vegetables such as leafy greens, zucchini, or cauliflower. Eliminate sugar, bread, rice, pasta, cereals, processed snacks, and fruit juices entirely. You can track your progress using a glucose and ketone meter. By calculating your doctor Bas ratio, 
glucose in milligrams per deciliter divided by ketones in millimoles per liter, you'll have a real-time indicator of your body's internal shift. A decreasing ratio signals that autophagy is becoming more likely. Many individuals notice reduced brain fog, more stable energy, better digestion, and deeper sleep within just a few days. This phase lays the foundation. It creates a biochemical shift away from constant sugar burning toward a cleaner, more efficient fuel source, ketones, which your heart and brain prefer as you age. Phase 2. Eating Window Adjustment Days 8 to 14. Once your metabolism has adjusted to burning fat and producing ketones, the next step is adjusting your eating window to allow your body uninterrupted time for repair. In phase two, the goal is to shift to two meals per day, consumed within a six-hour window. For example, breakfast at 9 a.m. and a second meal at 3 p.m. This form of time-restricted eating allows for an 18-hour fasting period each day, which gives your insulin levels a chance to drop further and allows autophagy to deepen. Scientific studies on early time-restricted feeding, ETRF, have shown improved insulin sensitivity, reduced nighttime blood pressure, and enhanced endothelial function, factors critical to reversing arterial damage. During this phase, your doctor, Bas ratio will typically fall below 80, and in some individuals, even under 50. This indicates an increasingly favorable environment for cellular cleanup. Importantly, this isn't starvation. It's strategic energy management. You're not depriving your body. You're giving it space to heal. You may also begin to notice reduced abdominal fat, less joint pain, improved bowel regularity, and a lighter mental state. These are all signals that your inflammatory load is decreasing and autophagy is becoming active. Phase 3. Targeted Autophagy Boost Days 15 to 21. The third and most transformative phase focuses on deepening the autophagic response with targeted metabolic strategies. This begins with a 72-hour sardine fast. Though unusual, this protocol has been used successfully in hundreds of patients by Dr. Annette Bosworth, Dr. Bos, especially those with stubborn metabolic resistance. For three days, you consume only sardines packed in olive oil. No sauces, no additives, no sugar. Sardines are a nearly perfect food for this purpose. High in protein, high in omega-3s, low in carbohydrates, and easy to digest. The low caloric load and minimal insulin response force your body to produce large amounts of ketones while keeping glucose low. The result? A powerful stimulation of autophagy. In one 19-day observational study of 200 patients, more than 70% achieved a Dr. Boz ratio under 40 during or immediately after the sardine fast. For those who tolerate the sardine fast well and want to go further, a gentle 24 to 72 hour water only fast can be introduced under supervision. During this period, only water and mineral salts like sodium, potassium, magnesium are consumed. This pushes the body into a deeply restorative state, further clearing damaged cells, enhancing mitochondrial function and allowing the vascular system to remodel and repair. Please note, anyone with diabetes, kidney disease, or on medications should consult their doctor before starting this phase. It is powerful, but not for everyone. Safety and personalization are key. By the end of this three-week plan, many participants report dramatic improvements, not just in how they feel, but in measurable health markers. These include lower fasting blood sugar, reduced blood pressure, improved cholesterol ratios, smaller waistlines, and lower levels of systemic inflammation. More importantly, what's happening beneath the surface is even more compelling. The endothelial lining of your arteries begins to repair. 
Foam cells and inflammatory residues are broken down and cleared. The protective glycocalyx is slowly restored. And over time, with consistency, even plaque may begin to regress. This isn't a theory. It's been observed in clinical practice, supported by molecular studies, and validated in aging populations. Your arteries can change. Your biology is not fixed. Many seniors have been told it's too late, that their condition is chronic, that medications are the only answer, and that all they can do is hope for the best. But that narrative is incomplete. The truth is, the body still wants to heal. It just needs the opportunity. You don't need to do everything perfectly. You just need to begin. One step, one meal, one decision at a time. The protocol you've just learned isn't just about reversing disease. It's about reclaiming your power. Because when you learn how to work with your biology, not against it, your heart begins to respond in ways you may not have believed possible. Take for example Robert, a 67-year-old retired firefighter with a history of high blood pressure and coronary artery disease. After completing a three-week program based on the exact phases outlined in this video, including a sardine fast and early time-restricted eating, Robert lowered his fasting glucose from 132 to 96, increased his ketone levels, and achieved a Dr. Ba's ratio of 38. More importantly, he reported fewer chest tightness episodes and improved energy during his morning walks. His cardiologist reduced his blood pressure medication within two months. How you can start today and inspire others to heal with you. You've now learned that autophagy is real, that it's measurable, and that it can play a powerful role in reversing the damage caused by heart disease but knowing is not enough. To create change, you have to act. And the good news is, the first step is far simpler than you think. You don't need to transform your life overnight. You don't need to fast for three days right away or track every gram of food you eat. What you need to do is begin. Today, start with one commitment. That could mean cutting added sugars from your next meal. It could be skipping snacks between breakfast and lunch, or going for a 10-minute walk after dinner. It could be setting an alarm to remind you to stop eating by 6 p.m. These may seem like small decisions, but they are metabolic signals. And when you send the right signals, your body listens. The key is consistency, not perfection. You don't need to get your doctor, Ba's ratio under 40 in the first week. What matters is that you begin to lower it. Track your glucose and ketones once a day. Keep a simple journal. Notice how your body changes. These small daily observations can be deeply motivating. They remind you that healing is happening, even when it's invisible. And don't do this alone. One of the most overlooked factors in heart recovery is community. Studies consistently show that people who engage in shared goals, whether that's walking with a neighbor, attending a support group, or simply commenting on a video, have better outcomes. That's why we encourage you to be part of this growing community of people taking back control of their health through knowledge and action. Leave a comment below. Have you ever tried fasting? Have you tracked your ketones? What's your doctor? Ba's ratio today? When you share your experience, you not only create accountability for yourself, you might also become the encouragement someone else needs to begin. You never know whose life you'll touch. And if this video helped you understand something you've never heard from your doctor, take a moment now to subscribe to this channel. We release new content every week designed especially for people over 50, combining the latest research with practical guidance for long-term heart health. Subscribing doesn't just help you stay informed, it helps others find this content too.